Perfecto. Hello friends. Another day on the field. It's blazingly hot outside. It's probably like 35 at least. It's very hot. So uh, you may say that I'm doing a um, sacrifice right now. Uh, testing this plane. We already saw how it flies. Really good. However, uh, I made some changes. You probably remember that I had a very large motor here but that was the one that I had at that time however in the meantime I ordered the Sony X 2216 880 kV you can probably see there you go and uh, okay and also um, put a wooden prop 10 by 7 Turnigy from Hobby King uh, and according to uh, the forums according to the community this plane should be really well, should fly really well with uh, such a prop combo. Um, so I still plan to fly a 4S and we'll see how, how this goes. Um, hopefully it will be fine. It's really the first time that I'm testing the motor and uh, this uh, prop combo. Uh, I put some uh, thread lock on the nut to make sure that you, you won't be able to see it though but uh, trust me it's there and the idea is uh, of course the prop not to come loose during the flight all right so now i will set up the plane and uh, we'll see how it flies so there it is uh, as i said same setup the only difference only difference is the motor and the prop. Turn the camera on. Oops. It's on. I already checked the CG. Always check the CG. Checking the elevons. Okay, let's see. Something very strange is happening here. It's stuttering. Now, what could be causing the issue? Two options. Either we have a face that is uh, not connected properly, probably loose, or we need to do a uh, ESC calibration. So let's see what it is. So for some reason it was stuttering, not sure why, but I disconnected the cables uh, on, the, on the AC, connected them back again and now it seems to be fine. Uh, when I get back home I'll have to further investigate that because definitely not a good idea to have a stuttering motor during flight. But let's see, hopefully it will fly. Okay. Now we have a confirmation that this motor is extremely underpowered. Uh, with throttle, it was not able to lift the plane. Therefore, um, sorry guys, but do not get Sunny Sky 880 kV. It is not suitable for that kind of plane. You need the bigger motor. All right, so now, uh, since we discovered that the motor is not good enough for this type of application I had two batteries uh, Molly Cell 2170 700 as you know so what else can we do there is no wind today which is in general good but there is not enough headwind in order for the plane to gain lift easily so the only other thing since I didn't bring my big motor with me although I thought of it uh, is to try with just one battery. Hopefully the CG will be right. But let's see. Uh, I hope you can see. I will try to push this battery as much as I can 
although I really push it any further. And now probably the 3G will be off. Oh yeah, big time. Big time off. Right. Not good. The only other thing I can possibly think of is if there is a some magic way to push the battery further. Because there is room, I can tell you that, but maybe like that. This is really the my best option and again extremely extremely tail heavy. With such this balance, this plane will definitely fail. What else can we do? Maybe we can put some something heavy up front because it I don't need much. But what can we put? Okay, so since we saw that with this motor it won't fly, uh, and I wanted to try with just one battery, however, the CG is not right. It's always good to have another hobby like airsoft gunning. You can see here I have uh, loads of uh, pellets and you can use those. Here's how they look. <laughs> it's plain um, lead. So I put the um, pellets up front and now we'll try again. Hopefully this will be enough for the motor to take off. I mean for the plane to take off. Uh, folks, don't do that at home. It's never a good idea. Uh, I'm risking right now just for you. So, fingers crossed. Wish me luck. And, and hopefully it will fly this time. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Okay, so I tested the CG. It looks fine. Nothing is hanging let's let's see honestly I'm still not sure that it will go but at least we can try probably it won't Probably it won't. What what can we do? Honestly, I don't know. I'll try to I'll try to run a bit. Again, not a good idea. But let's see. Good news it's in one piece uh, however my camera flew away somewhere <laughs> so in that case what we do is we leave the plane where it was to have an orientation and start searching for the camera the good thing is that we found the camera it was right here in the plane right there how that happened I really don't know but the good news is that we have the Runcam Thumb Pro. Good. So what is the um, conclusion? The conclusion is, if you have a fairly large plane, you need a fairly large motor. Uh, maybe, maybe if I had another one like this one, another motor, so to make it two, and put them in front like a tractor on a track uh, setup, it will be okay, but with this small motor, definitely not. Anyway, thank you for watching, guys. Um, see you on the next video, and don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.